for two connections, I think that would be great. Um, so I really appreciate the opportunity to be here. You know, I'm, uh, this is my third time connecting with folks at uh, One Million Cups presented. Uh, I've been uh, presented in Charlotte, I've been presented in Columbia, uh, and I had the opportunity a long time ago to meet folks in uh, Kansas City, uh, uh, almost right before One Million Cups started. So I think it's a great opportunity for local entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurial ecosystem. So, See snap yet. So uh, I'm going to share a little bit about our journey today, kind of how uh, how we got to where we're at and where we're headed. Um, so quickly, my name is Don Nelson, and I have worked at a, uh, literally a Main Street store in high school, all the way to leading uh, e-commerce, uh, digital marketing, and all of that for brands like Sam's Club and Toys R Us Inc. Kind of their chief digital officer for a period of time. Then I had the opportunity to go on and uh, have kind of a global role where a lot of what, what we're doing has been influenced by a lot of that stuff. And we've got a great team. I'm excited to announce that uh, I brought on a co-founder uh, just last week. Uh, and so this is an individual that I've worked with for, uh, for many years. Uh, I have a lot of respect for it. He's really going to help us uh, move the business forward. And then we've got uh, different resources that we use from the Philippines to India to Boston to, to all over. Um, and so, you know, it really, you know, got me thinking about while I was traveling and meeting other people, hey, I'd love to get that, but I don't want to schlep it home, right? Uh, and, and, and how other people would creatively come up with ways that they would see something very unique, a piece of art, a piece of uh, furniture. How do you get that from India to America, right? Uh, and so as I started hearing about these different things, I thought, well, there's definitely a need there, right? Um, and there's two sides to it, so it's kind of complex. So I started the season I did about two and a half years ago, uh, and we uh, we built a, an iOS app. And what I um, how it works is really simple. Go to any store, see something that you like, take a picture, request a code from us. All I need is a ship to zip code, and I can do the work from there to work with that local merchant to ultimately get that treasure packaged, filled, sold to you, and on its way. So we remove all of the friction. It's, it's all about removing all the reasons why people don't buy, and also knocking down barriers that local Main Street merchants and individual artists, etc., have to sell them. Um, and so <clears throat> in thinking about, you know, really spent the, the beginning thinking about, okay, who is our target? How do we develop a, 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 an active community of key travelers? Uh, who can go out and test our products and test what we're doing. And so we've done that. Uh, and, you know, uh, we are at the beginning of really, I think, uh, creating and developing new markets at the intersection between travel and shopping. So if you looked at a Venn diagram, two pieces of pie, that intersection, which is shopping while traveling, uh, is a huge market, right? It's a couple hundred million dollar market. At the top of that market is your duty-free shopping, your luxury, and you get into a little bit of your, kind of your mall and your outlet-style shopping. Then it drops all the way down to the bottom of that uh, that graphic. Right, it would be uh, your souvenirs, your cheap T-shirts, the little silver spoons, keychains, decals, stuff like that. So we really started looking at well, what is that in the middle? And that's when people go to Blowing Rock and they spend a couple hundred dollars on Main Street and Blowing Rock. Or they go to Lake Placid, New York, or Durango, or Santa Fe, or, uh, and we get quotes from all over the country and all over the world. So, you know, our goal is, okay, now we know who our customer is from the B2C side, and these are just some, some demos that kind of fit the narrative, and it's ultimately proven out of time with very limited marketing. Our audience is 60 to 40, whether it's on Instagram or it's website visitors, and email opt-ins, emails and mail. But the real, the real thing that came out that we that we learned after uh, I got the app up in uh, May of 2018, and then I spent the next year plus, and it's an ongoing thing, just talking to merchants. So from Greenville to Asheville to Charleston to Savannah to Blowing Rock to Southern Pines out to Crystal Coast, neighborhoods in Charlotte, etc., and listening to what the merchants need. And these many times these merchants and artists they don't have websites. 
They carry unique mixes. It might be a blend of some branded product with Yankee candles, Alice and Honey bracelets, things like that. But it's really those unique items, and typically they're off size that people don't buy because, hey, I gotta get, I don't want to, you know, spend an hour trying to work on it with this with this merchant or the salesperson is here. I gotta get the dinner. My flight leaves. I don't want to schlep it back, etc. So the more we talk to the merchants, the more I realize, okay. Where is their biggest pain point that intersects with what we're doing? And that's really within the e-commerce side of it. And that, that front end and back office is, is what that FB stands for. And front end means they don't have the time, the resources, they've been burnt doing digital marketing, doing different things, a, a website, um, and they're just not, and they, because their product mix, maybe a thousand items, but it's 900 of them are one of a kind items. Really difficult to justify the ROI and the expertise, right? Um, and that the digital marketing and the mobile, how, how I compete with Yelp and um, uh, et cetera, how I'm found is, is, is a challenge too. So we've been working on a handful of delivering products that answer the questions that both our customers, the travelers, and the, the merchants uh, are, uh, are asking for. And we're, as I'm sharing with Nancy, we're getting dangerously close, I think, at the end of this holiday season to then be prepared to go out for a funding round when we clear, when we set uh, agree on exactly what we're going after. So, um, as far as our business model goes. Um, and that's, you know, there's elements in here from the below that top, whether it's commissions on transactions, which we take now, so we make a trans uh, commission on every transaction we process. Um, but we've also launched a local treasures map, uh, a market to help those merchants sell more uh, of their unique items, and a, uh, Watching some, some content uh, next year around our podcast. So here, this is a perfect example right here in Davidson at Moonstone uh, Street uh, that we did a quote request on. You can see that beautiful curved cabinet with the lamp. And then I guess I would just take advantage of having a second to talk about the last sale that we did. This was a this is a queen headboard. It looks it's interesting. It looks like it's two, but that's the way that it's made from ship left right there from out east. Uh, it was sold at Sea Classics in Moorhead City. This, this sale came to us from the merchant. The merchant called and said, hey, we told the customer you see Snap yet. This is a, uh, a queen size headboard. It's one of a kind, but it's made locally. Uh, and uh, the item, we ended up taking care of that customer, processing that entire transaction. They bought it from us, and then we had it transported from Moorhead City to Herndon, Virginia, right outside of DC. And the customer paid the shipping, they paid the tap, they pay, right? This is, this is a convenience service, so we're all about convenience for the customer and really convenience for those local and merchants. So I'm happy to answer any other questions uh, that you might have, and I appreciate you going over just a minute. Hopefully, I bought it. Okay. Well, it just, just, it just goes to show how fast six minutes goes. <laughs> so thank you, Don. So we'll turn it over to the audience.